wanna spread the disease because I wanna. Gonna call all the shots for the notes and the knives because I wanna. Them first. Turn the water on, fix the leaks. Talk about what I would call real social impact. Um, I'm going to talk about what I would call real social enterprise. And I'm going to talk about what I would call real rehabilitation. I heard that I was the problem. We all know the scale of the problems. I arranged this event to showcase some charities or agencies companies that are making a difference. I'm going to talk about rehabilitation and, and solutions for it. Um, I'm going to talk about enterprise and I'm going to talk about social impact. Social impact has just happened 12 months ago. I'd never heard of social impact. Social impact is everywhere right now. What I want to do is try and give a tour de force really to try and link in to the, and think about solutions. Think absolutely solution focused and think about the future. Um, my job at the moment is to go up and down this fur land to look at the state of drug treatment and how clearly it interferes with recovery. ACORN's primary aim is to carry message that there's a solution to addiction. If that social isolation in of itself doesn't kill you, join me cow drug. <laughs> because I defy anybody seeking recovery to sit watching that day after day without ringing that mobile phone, phone number and holding a brown and a white or, a red, or, a, or walking to the suite down to the off license for an angle on the white side. There are only so many times you can watch somebody from your street have the DNA test. <laughs> so, in this room will know that. It's passed on from father to son, from mother to daughter, through grandparents, generations. Not only addiction, teenage pregnancy, welfare dependency, a whole series of things that are intergenerational, that left unchecked, are passed on from mother to son, through through generations. With substance abuse, uh, the two-thirds of offenders who are unemployed, 70% uh, in receipt of benefits, 70% of all young offenders, 17 to 21 years old from low and parent families, 50% of all young offenders have had contact with the care system, 70% uh, of children in care have parents with dual diagnosis or substance misuse problem. It's not a strap line, but it, it rhymes. Ex-offenders <coughs> will be our vendors. Um, I want to get to brand. There's no point in us doing this unless we are as good, if not better, than McDonald's. Some people would have you believe that alcoholism, drug addiction is a chronic relapsing condition. Well, maybe. But we convinced ourselves that it isn't. And our self-delusion is keeping us sober <laughs> and happy. As Darren said, he's happy. So what? We're deluded. Real recovery, the, the research has not been done yet because it's brand new territory. That's the other key point. This is brand new. If anybody stands up in a suit of my type and tells you we've been here before, be very, very afraid. The other really, really big idea um, that's on offer if we get this stuff right is that the recovery outcomes, real recovery, Robbie talks about real stuff, real recovery, which I want to talk about, uh, as a massive offer, as an absolutely unprecedented offer to this country at this particular time. Real recovery has the potential to create a firewall in the intergenerational transmission of addiction. Because left unchecked, this stuff runs in families. <laughs> to be a different
Yes. 